Family members waiting at the pier in Xiaoliuqiu in southern Taiwan's Pingdong County cried as they saw the body of Taiwanese fisherman Hong Shichen being brought to shore over the weekend. Nobody would have thought the life of the 65-year-old seasoned fisherman would end during a shooting by a Philippines government vessel at sea. Hong was killed on Thursday when the Philippines vessel fired numerous shots at the fishing boat while Hong, his son, son-in-law, and an Indonesian migrant worker were fishing in overlapping waters of Taiwan's and the Philippines' exclusive economic zones in the South China Sea. The ship returned to Taiwan early Saturday morning. Besides Taiwan's officials, the Philippines' top representative in Taiwan, Antonio Basilio, was also at the scene. Basilio apologized to the family and expressed his condolences. But Taiwan's government said that is not sufficient. On Saturday, it demanded that the Philippines government make a formal apology, investigate what happened, punish the culprits, and compensate the family. It also called for the Philippines to agree to launch fishery talks to avoid such incidents from happening again. If the Philippines fails to respond, the government said it will recall its representative to the Philippines, send Basilio back to Manila, and freeze the hiring of Filipino migrant workers. Philippines officials in Manila had initially said their personnel had fired the shots as warnings and that they were carrying out their duties. However, Taiwan's officials reject this explanation, insisting that it is a violation of international law to fire at unarmed vessels at sea. Investigators at the pier found several bullet holes on one side of the boat. They also said that while the type of gun used still cannot be determined, it was a powerful weapon. The Philippines has launched an investigation and relieved the officers involved of their duties, but has not yet issued an official apology. Basilio has said that if the investigation shows there was a violation of international law and practice and Philippine domestic law, his country will let the law take its course so that justice can be served. CNA, Xiaoliuqiu.